What's up guys? Good morning. I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. I post all things lifestyle, faith, an occasional vlog here and there. I know it's been a while since I've vlogged, but I figured I would do a kind of weekend in my life. This isn't going to be a chill weekend, but I do have some things to do, and so I figured I would take you along with me, um, and we'll get into it in a little bit, but I don't know if you can hear the squeaking behind me, but Luna is waiting for her breakfast, and I feel like I've let her wait long enough. Luna, do you want to eat? Do you want to eat? Okay. Oh my goodness, Luna. Are you kidding? I just want you guys to hear what I go through every morning when I feed her. My goodness, little lady. You would think she hasn't eaten since birth. There you go, enjoy. So there are a couple things happening today. The first thing being I am getting my hair done at 12.30 and for the first time I don't actually have like a plan as to what I want to do. I mean I know I'm not going to go far from the color. I think we've established I look better with my natural hair color. So I don't want to do anything crazy but I do have a couple grays that I need to cover and just to kind of freshen it up. I want to put my layers back in my hair. My hair is pretty long now so I want to put my mixed layers back in. And I think I want to get like face framing layers, not bangs, but like a shorter layer somewhere around my chin, which makes me nervous, but we're going to just talk to her and I'm going to trust her expert opinion and we're just going to see how she feels about it. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So that's that. I have a couple of home renovation projects that I want to do today, really just one big one. And then I may be getting dinner with some of my girlfriends tonight, although I have a strong feeling that that might not be happening. We left it as a tentative plan and we all kind of know what that means. So we're just gonna see, but if not, that's totally fine because it gives me more time to do the things that I need to do and wanna do around the house. So let me walk you through the first thing I wanna do. I don't know if you remember, but ever since I moved in, the previous owner left it, I had like a black bar, um, like a key holder right here that I just kept. I don't, I'll put a picture maybe so that you can you can kind of see the before. It's so plain and I just feel like it's time to spruce it up and also it matches nothing in the apartment. So you can see I already started covering the holes last night and we're gonna make it look a little bit better, although it really doesn't look that bad and from afar. Well, in this lighting you can tell, but in person, like I promise you can't tell. It's really, it's really not that bad. So let me show you the things that I have to put here. So the first thing I have is this shelf. Hello, Luna. The first thing I have is the shelf. It's like a key holder type thing, but you can put things on top. I will admit I thought that it was a little longer, but honestly, it's still bigger than the black bar that was there. And it matches my apartment, actually, for the first time. So I have this thing, and maybe I'll put a little fake succulent on it or something just to jazz it up. And then I have this actually fairly heavy mirror and it's made out of a dark brown wooden frame i don't want to blind you but um it's dark wood like a chestnut kind of color so it matches the shelf perfectly it matches my furniture and so that's gonna go above the shelf so i saw the idea on pinterest i can't take credit for it oh luna do you want to look at yourself who's that who is that Wow. Okay, she doesn't really seem to care too much. Or do you? I don't know. Okay, we good with this? I'm gonna put it away. Also, I'm not gonna really document it in this video yet because it's not happening until like next weekend, next week, but for the first time since, I kid you not, I was 14, I am redoing my bedroom. I have had the same Ikea furniture since I was 14. And it's been good to me. It has held up, it looks great. But um, I think it's just time. I also never have bought furniture for myself, obviously, because when I was 14, my mom bought that for me. And I am finally at the point in my life where I'm like, you know what? I think I deserve a queen size bed. <laughs> so we're redoing my bedroom and I'm doing a little partnership with a mattress company. 
on my main channel and so I figured this was the perfect opportunity to kind of just change everything all at once. So that's happening next week and I'm excited. So really quick, because I have to start getting ready soon, let me show you what's gonna go. Well, pretty much everything in my bedroom is gonna go, but I'll show you one last time. Literally all of this, except for the two bedside tables and that bench, everything else I have had since I was 14. So it's all gonna go and we're going to change it into furniture that's actually kind of that color. It's like a light wooden, sort of finish and it's going to be a queen size bed i know it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze but i really think we can make it work and i'm actually going to go for less furniture but we'll see is anybody else's cat just obsessed with their makeup bag i have to dig around her in order to get my makeup she loves my makeup bag i don't know why it's luna's world and i'm just living in it Okay, I am all ready. I don't know why, but I always put on a full face whenever I go get my hair done. It's just something about it. It just hits different when it's all done and put together. Um, but I'm actually running on time for once. So that's why I'm not like freaking out. So I'm getting the house set to leave Luna by herself. And I actually have to bring some of these boxes down with me. So let me show you. So my mom's 60th birthday party is next weekend. Oh, I just realized, mom, I don't know if you're watching this. If you are, kindly click off the video and just let there be a few surprises left, okay? In this box, I have like little plastic champagne flutes. I have a birthday sash for her to wear. I have a birthday banner coming and I'm gonna get balloons day of and we're gonna make it a nice fun party. So I'm gonna leave all of this in my car. That way next weekend I can just bring it and it's already in my car. So I'm excited for that. I'm stressed. Party planning is stressful, but it's gonna be fun. Okay guys, let's talk inspo really quick because I know I said I didn't really have a plan and I don't, but I do have to give my lady kind of something to work with. So I really don't wanna change my color like I said, but I want a lot of layers. So I saved this to show her. I'm gonna try to show you. You see all those layers, all that dimension. So this girl said she asked for um, elongated curtain bangs with long layers and face framing. So I want to do something like that, something with layers where it's just going to be nice and, and bouncy. And I do want to do the face framing layers, I think, long enough to still be able to put back but short enough that I could leave it out if I have my hair in a bun or something. And then as for the color, like I said, I want to keep it natural, but part of me is like, it's summertime, so maybe I want to go a little bit lighter. So I don't know. I think I'm going to leave that up to her and ask her what she thinks, but I do really like this kind of it's very very similar to my hair color but a little bit lighter so maybe I'll do that I usually just do a glaze I don't actually like dye it or bleach it or anything anymore so I just do a glaze so it seems pretty simple enough but my hair as you can see it just it still looks healthy and and shiny thank goodness but it's just kind of lifeless it just needs more body and more dimension so I'm excited, so the next time you see me, my hair will be done, so let's go. Alrighty, here we go. It's actually exactly, exactly what I wanted. I will be honest, I don't like the way she blew it out fully. I never like the way people blow out my hair, if I'm being honest with you, um, because they kind of turn inwards. <laughs> so, but I can fix that, that's no big deal. But lengthwise, bounce-wise, color wise it's exactly what i wanted i'm gonna have to learn how to style it because it's a little bit different but i don't think it'll be too hard with rollers and a little round brush um but it just feels so much healthier it looks so much healthier it's got bounce it's got shine and i'm really really happy with it i told her i always think that she understands what i want more than i do i never really have an idea um, and I think I threw her off a little bit when I said I wanted to go a little lighter and she was like, honey, a glaze doesn't really make your hair brighter. I was like, that's true. Probably a blessing in disguise because every time I go lighter, I don't like it. You guys know. So it just worked out perfectly and it just looks rich and I just, mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm starving, but I think I'm going to go grocery shopping just because that's one less thing I'll have to do tomorrow. And then I'll do a little grocery haul 
when we get home and then we need to start on the shelf mirror situation so that's how we're looking um but yeah super happy with it and so let me know what you guys think i hope you like it but i'll see you in a bit all right so we're back home i don't know if you can tell my hair is getting super like staticky so i'm gonna go fix it in a second but quick grocery haul shall we with luna in the background because she just needs to be up in my business all the time okay ready avocados apples gala apples the way to go we have raspberries blueberries we have gluten-free pasta for pasta salads we have pre-made prepared grilled chicken we have snacks for the week i have this and popcorn I like to have one frozen meal in the freezer at all times, at least just in case I don't have time to cook one day, I have a meal, tuna for lunch, and a cucumber, and some toilet paper. So this was a very, very small haul. I have a weird week coming up where I'm working kind of odd hours that are not what I normally work. So. My meals are gonna look a little bit different. I also have plans to like go out to eat and stuff. So, hmm, she just jumped up on the counter. She does that now. Um, but yeah, so I didn't need a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna put all of this away. I'm gonna fix my hair and then we're gonna continue on. Where are you going? We're gonna continue on with the day. All right guys, so I got a little ahead of myself and I hung the mirror. So I am getting ready to hang the shelf i'm going into my toolkit and everybody's always so surprised when i say i have a toolkit but you have to understand my dad never had sons he had two girls and i'm the oldest so my dad made sure that i had all the things necessary so i am gonna get ready to screw the bolts in to put the shelf on so it's 10 inches in between the two bolts on the shelf so we have to measure them perfectly under the mirror. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I made a little mark right here. 10 inches is here, which is right there. And we're gonna make, and then I'm gonna obviously level it and make sure that it's even. All right guys, what do you think? I like it. I wish the shelf was a little bit bigger, like I said, but I really, honestly, I don't hate it. I put this fake little eucalyptus here. I actually had this in my kitchen, and I might take some out because it's a lot, but just to give it a nice little accent, hopefully I did it right. I think I did it right, and hopefully it'll still be on the wall when I get home. And then ignore this one that's still on the other side because that's going to come out, but I think... I think I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. So I still haven't eaten, <laughs> I'm starving. And I, my friend is nearby, one of my best friends from school, from college, and I'm gonna go see her and our other friend, AKA her fiance. So um, I do wanna see them before they head out. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go find food. I don't know what I'm going to eat but I'm gonna find something and then go see them. And then it'll probably be an early night. I'll probably be home with enough time to just chill before church tomorrow. So yeah, I'm, I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> okay guys, hello, I'm home. Um, don't freak out, I'm fine. Having a little bit of an allergic reaction. Um, I look scary. I can't even believe I'm putting this in the vlog. Um, yeah, so this eye, I don't know if you can tell, is so swollen. It's worse in person, on camera, thank God, it doesn't look horrible. Um, I had such a good time with my friends, but I was playing with the dog, and I scratched him, and then I touched my eye, which normally with him and dogs like him, he has hair, not fur, I'm normally fine, but I felt it as soon as it happened, and my eye blew up it's getting better i think it blew up and so i kind of just we were parting ways anyway but i was like okay i need to i need to go because my eyes about to blow up um and then on the way home i was like oh i should go to target because i need to buy sheets for the new bed because if the bed comes within the week i'm not going to have an opportunity to get sheets anyway so i went to target with my eye looking like this it actually looked worse at the time and i was just i was so self-conscious i didn't make eye contact with a single soul 
I was just looking at my phone or looking at the floor the whole time because um, I probably looked like a crazy person. Um, so safe to say I'm in for the night. I'm gonna take an allergy pill, although it is getting better. It was like before. Um, but safe to say I'm, I'm in for the night. Nobody needs to see this. Um, but that's just, it's just how my life goes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chill. I'll probably vlog a little bit, uh, later in the night, but yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna let this just run its course. Okay. Okay. Quick eye update before I go to bed. It's much better but it's still a little bit puffy under here. In the morning, I might ice roll my face if it's still a little puffy, but like night and day, I can't feel any difference. It just looks a little bit different. I'm tired. I um, Once I took my makeup off and took an allergy pill, that's when it started to feel a little bit better, but I was like almost falling asleep on the couch. So it is time to go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning for church and family day that's all gonna be tomorrow so i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys it is sunday we are getting ready for church and i am trying to style these bangs for the first time because these short layers kind of just kind of fell off a little bit they're not looking great so i broke out the rollers and we're just gonna kind of pin them up. Um, I'm gonna do a quick eye update for you in a second, but let's get these bad boys up. I need to buy smaller rollers for this section of hair, but for now, this will have to do. We're gonna unicorn, we're gonna unicorn ourselves really quick. Um, all right, so let me just pin this and then I'll show you my, my eye. Hold on. Okay. So it's much better. Like, I feel like you can't see a difference. It is definitely puffier here and still a little bit up here, but it's not too bad. Um, I think the skin just like stretched so much that it just hasn't fully come down yet. And the skin is a little bit tender around there. Um, again, I can't believe that it got that bad. But as long as you can't tell, and honestly, the power of makeup is amazing. So today is Sunday, like I said, and the past couple Sundays I have been running around like crazy, even after church. Um, last Sunday I couldn't even make it to church, to be fully transparent. Um, but today is much more chill. I don't know if my friends and I are gonna get lunch after church like we do sometimes. I'm not sure if that's happening today, but either way, later on, like around maybe three o'clock or so, maybe four, I'm gonna go over to my dad's house because I haven't hung out with my family in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna go hang out with them, maybe have some dinner with them and just hang out at that ha their house. And they live super, super close to me, which is very convenient. So that'll be later, but I'm about done with my hair. I'm gonna leave these rollers in, pick out an outfit, and then we'll come back and take them out. I will admit, it's not that I don't like them. I'm not regretting them, oh that's much better, but I'm not regretting them, but it's like a sensory issue. Like, they're, they're, the bangs are like touching my face and I'm not used to having something constantly touch my face and it's like irritating me. Last night I had a headband on all night because I just couldn't, I couldn't deal. So I don't know if I just don't like the length of them. I don't know, I don't know. Cause now here, like they make this weird dome shape around my face. I don't know. Honestly, it's not bad. I should just leave it, right? I'm gonna leave it, okay. It is so nice outside today. I think it's gonna be 75 today. And I love my little ride to church. Um, so. We have multiple services every Sunday. I serve, which means I volunteer, essentially. I volunteer at the last service of the Sunday, so I attend the second to last service as like a regular like patron, right? So I get to sit and actually enjoy the service. And then 
the last service I stay and I volunteer. So that's typically how it goes for me on a Sunday unless I know I have something to do later on in the day and I tell them I can't volunteer. But I didn't get to go to church last Sunday, like I said, so I'm excited to see everybody and kind of jump back into the swing of everything. You guys know I don't really vlog in church, one, because I want to actually like be present and pay attention, but also two, for location and security purposes, privacy purposes. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna bring my camera inside, but I will definitely see you guys soon. Hi guys. I know I was not great with the vlogging today. There wasn't much worth vlogging, to be honest with you. Um, but church was fantastic. Ended up staying a little bit later just to help out with something. And then my friends and I went and got lunch and we sat outside. It was the most gorgeous day ever. And then I went to my aunt's house for a little bit, saw her, caught up with her, then went over to my dad's house, had a nice little family dinner. Uh, and now I'm home, I'm sitting on the floor. Luna is here, we're playing because I feel bad. She's been alone most of the day and I normally don't leave her alone for that long unless I'm at work, but like on the weekends I try to, to be here as much as I can or at least come home in between things, you know? But she's fine, she's playing now. So I'm just playing with her <laughs> a little bit. Um, and then I do have some editing and stuff that I have to do for actually something really exciting, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. My hair, I don't even know what is happening with my hair. These bangs are really gonna take, they're not even bangs. I don't know what to call it, but it's gonna take some getting used to. Um, but I'm gonna play with her for a little bit and then I'm gonna edit something. Please tell me you saw that. I hope the camera caught that. She's a psycho. Okay, I just have to show you guys this game. When I tell you we do this every day, I'm not kidding. Okay, well, Luna, you need to get out of the way so that I can, can I, can I, I need to do the thing so I can show them. Stop. <laughs> Ready? She'll even go sit up. Oh, yep, there she goes. Assumes the position. She'll sit there and she'll just wait for it. Ready? <laughs> and we just do this over and over and over. Hello, hello. So we are editing right now. The lighting is terrible here. But I am editing a special project right now for, um, it's not for my other channel, but it's for the ASMR community. That's all I can really tell you, um, but I'll show you a little sneak peek. This is your sneak peek with absolutely zero context, but when the project comes out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. It's about 10.15 at night right now, so I am getting a little tired and I do want to chill. I'm almost done with this, probably within the next two minutes. I'm just going to export it and send it where I need to send it, um, but I would like to start editing the vlog that you're watching now. Which is, I mean, you're already at the end of it, so you already know, like, it's a very casual vlog. Um, but I do want to start working on that because I want that up this Wednesday. So I might work a little bit longer, but I still need to, like, do my skincare and just kind of decompress. But honestly, this is me kind of decompressing. And I wish I could tell you what I'm working on, but you'll find out soon enough. Um, but this is not the very end of the vlog, so I will see you again. <laughs> My little editing buddy. You're so pretty. I can't stand it, although not your best angle. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Luna's YouTube channel. On today's episode, we will be showing you her scared and care routine. I always make sure to wipe her down before bed every night. Mostly just her face and her little paws. I gotta get the feeties. I gotta get the feeties. We actually do do this every night because she sleeps in bed with me and more often than not we share a pillow. Um, so I don't play around. Make sure we clean and then I usually kind of do her back a little bit and a little bit of her bum so she cleans. Okay, time for bed. Guys, I have a confession. When it comes to editing, once I start, I can't stop until I'm done. So this vlog is basically done, except for this last clip that I'm gonna put in there. 
Um, and so I know already that this vlog was pretty long, but it, it was different for me, but I hope it felt like we were just hanging out together for the weekend. It was nice and casual, but I really enjoyed making it. Um, it's 1.45 a.m., so I need to go to bed. The work week starts tomorrow. I obviously get up later than the average person, so it's okay, but I do need to go to sleep, like, now. So, thank you so much for watching, for supporting this little channel of mine, this little passion project of mine. Um, I will be here making videos as long as you guys will have me, but thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.